Hello, my name is Emily Wilding Davison and I am speaking to you from over 100 years ago. I imagine that you live in a world where women and men have the right to vote and I hope are truly equal. I am a feminist and a suffragette because I believe in equality. Those of us who campaign for the right to vote are part of a global movement of women's suffrage. In this country there are two groups, the suffragists and the suffragettes. The leading suffragist organisation, the NUWSS, the National Union of Women's Suffrage Societies, was formed by Millicent Fawcett in 1897. The suffragists continue to champion the cause through lobbying and writing. Whereas those of us who belong to the Women's Social and Political Union, the WSPU, which was founded by Emmeline Pankhurst and her daughters in Manchester in 1903, are called suffragettes. This name was actually meant to be an insult, and it was created by the Daily Mail newspaper. However, Mrs. Pankhurst made it a badge of honour that I am proud to wear. There are a number of important issues. However, this has meant that it has become all too easy for our male lawmakers to ignore our noble cause. And it is the reason that we have had to become more creative and inventive in order to ensure that women's voices are heard in the mother of all parliaments. We did not make this change lightly and many of my sister suffragettes have suffered greatly for the cause. It may be said by some that the suffragists and the suffragettes are bitter rivals. However, let me assure you that we have far more that unites us, and that is our belief in you, future generations, to be able to use your voice and have your say at the heart of our democracy. We believe that you matter, your vote matters, and we gladly pass to you a right that was denied to us. Never forget that your vote is your hard-won birthright. Don't let anybody tell you that your voice, your vote doesn't matter, that change won't happen. We wouldn't fight so hard for you to have that right and face brutal oppression and forcible feeding if it had such little significance. And those in Parliament would not use all means at their disposal to try to silence us if having the right to vote mattered so little. If you are of an age to vote, have you registered? And perhaps you could ask your friends and family if they have. I hope that you will be moved and inspired by the story of the suffragettes. I believe that the knowledge and understanding of our bravery, struggle and sacrifice will burn bright in the hearts of girls and women across generations, calling them to continue the cause. Can you reassure me that this is so? I would love to hear from you. What matters to you? What do you think and what do you feel we need to campaign for? Perhaps you could write me a letter, a poem, draw a picture or create a banner. I will leave my correspondence address at the end of this clip. Let us as girls and women around the world use our voices to encourage each other to step up, vote and lead.